Well, hey there, everybody. Rhino here, and it's time to take a look at my November 2023 Retro Game Treasure Box. Now, if you don't know much about Retro Game Treasure, take a look at the icon up here in the corner, and you'll uh, learn a little bit more about it. But the basics of it is uh, I get three to five retro video games every single month curated for me and making sure I don't get any copies of what I've already got on the shelf back here. So I'm excited to take a look at what's in the box. Uh, it feels pretty light, so I'm wondering if I've got a few smaller games, maybe some Game Boy games or something something like that. So we'll take a look, we'll open it up and let's see what's inside. So we've got the treasure box here, let's open her up. Thanks for your subscription. Happily subscribed, I've been uh, part of this service, subscribing to this service for, gosh, seven years or more now. It's been a long time. It's really helped me grow the collection that you see behind me. So, uh, oh boy, there's a lot of games in here. Let's start with the smallest one in the box and that would be Backyard Hockey for the Game Boy Advance. Okay. I had to some of the other backyard games, backyard football, backyard baseball, but backyard hockey, that's a new one for me. Set that over here. Item number two, let's see what the Game Boy Color is. M&M's Minis Madness. All right, I've never played this game before, never even heard of it before. Um, it does have Apparently this belonged to Dickie at one point, but that's easy enough to remove. So uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. And last but not least, we have an original Game Boy game. I noticed that gray cart. It is Kid Icarus of Myths and Monsters. Well, I think this is a pretty rare game, uh, all things considered. Um, you know, it's the only Game Boy game for Kid Icarus that was released. I know this would have come out shortly after the uh, Nintendo version, the NES version. It had similar treatment to what Metroid and Metroid 2 had for one another. So this is kind of the Metroid 2 of the Kid Icarus world. Very cool. And well, that's it. These three games, M&M's, Kid Icarus, and Backyard Hockey, all together worth about $28.50. So uh, a little less than what I paid for the box altogether, but Ultimately, I didn't have to go out and try to find these games. Uh, that Kid Icarus game by itself is worth about $18.50, so, you know, it's a little bit harder to come by. Probably would have paid more if I had gone to a local gaming store or something like that. So I am happy overall with uh, the games that I've gotten, and I'm going to clean them up and get them ready to put on my shelf. And hey, that's going to do it for me. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and leave a like. Drop a comment, especially if you have any questions about Retro Game Treasure as a service. I've been a subscriber to them for many years, and I can tell you all sorts of things about them. And if you uh, haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. We just hit the great milestone of 300 subscribers earlier this week, so I am super thrilled to see that. I want to keep this channel going, keep this channel growing, and see how far we can go. That's going to do it for me. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Rhino, out.